just got a new update and I'm so excited to share the news with all of you. We now have the ability to create families. Adding players to your family is super easy. Click the family icon at the bottom left and choose to add a family member. Select anyone in the server and give them a role. You can also write in custom roles. Players get a notification asking if they would like to join your family. And once they do, you'll get a notification saying they've joined your family as the role you've selected for them. You can view your family list and manage each player in your family with these options. This is a great feature to keep up with every one of your family members. You can now adopt NPC babies and take care of them. Select the family icon and click adopt a baby. We currently have three NPCs to choose from and they are so adorable. Once you select your baby NPC, you have the option to bring it to you, put it in a stroller or to carry it. I love how they will stay as soon as you sit down. And once you get up, they'll follow you again. But if you want them to manually stay or follow, just click on the NPC baby and select the option. You can also equip, unequip and disown your NPC baby. For those of you who find them quite scary. There's now a new park slash picnic area in Blockswood Park. Another perfect area to have family gatherings. We can now toggle between daytime and nighttime in build mode. The developers even made a slight change in the ambiance of both times. You can hear crows and other birds in the daytime and dogs barking at night. You can spawn your car anywhere on the road now. Just make sure you're actually on the street or you'll get an error message like this. There's a brand new food selection UI and I love the design. The the devs added layered clothing in the avatar editor. Select the shirt or pants icon and scroll towards the bottom for new items. They have also added four new fence types. The brick wall fence, interior cable railing fence, elite front fence, and an elegant glass railing fence. We have two new floral wallpapers in pink and blue. There is now an option to add rakes on default roofs only. If you don't know what those are, here's the difference of the two. With rakes, without rakes. You can now disable the snap to grid for fences and wall trims in build mode. This feature will help make builds more unique for sure. I especially like using this fence with the snap to grid disabled. I have a feeling we are going to see this feature a lot more in future builds, especially for telephone lines and poles. A stroller and umbrella is now accessible in your backpack in case you want to take a stroll in the park or stay dry on a rainy day. And though I love the snow, our beautiful green grassy hills are back. Last but not least, we have 12. That's right, 12 new furniture items in build mode. The minimal sofa, the elegant L-shaped couch, a therapy chair, an elegant vintage sofa, an elegant plastic chair, a baby high chair, a cash register. Would love to know if this could be used or if it's just for decor. A small wall attached flower pot, a wide wall attached flower pot, a letterbox, a makeup vanity, and a modern wood feature wall. And there you go! You are now up to date with Roville's newest update of 2023. What do you think about this update? Was it everything you expected? What would you like to see in the next update? Definitely comment all those ideas below. Like and share this video if it's helped you at all. Maybe share it with a friend who may not be aware of this awesome game too. Of course, subscribe and hit that notification bell to continue on this journey in Roville with us. But until next time, bye!